Hey loves, welcome back to another video. Today is a completely different video than what we normally have. Got oh, lipstick on my teeth. Today is the explanation video. So by explanation video, I mean what kind of happened. Um, I'm not really going to get too much into it because a lot of it is still very personal for now. Uh, but I'm just going to give you the gist of why I disappeared for so long and why I gave up. Um, basically, um, I burnt out. <laughs> I've been struggling a lot lately and don't really know why, just have and I burnt myself out. I did too much. I stressed myself out to the point that I couldn't do anything. I've been struggling a lot with the news of ADHD and working around it and working with it and people supporting his been on and off, um, so I'm grateful for the people that have supported it, but also a lot of other people have been saying, oh no, you don't have it, you can't have it, and you know, like, whatever your condition is, it doesn't matter what your, what other people's opinions are, it only matters on how you handle it. People can have opinions all they want, um, it shouldn't, I know it does, but it shouldn't affect how you feel about it. And I'm fine that I have ADHD, amongst other things <laughs> that I won't get into right now. But I'm fine that I have it. It's just slight inconveniences. But at the same time, they're just inconveniences. And I've been having a hard time kind of wrapping my head around that. Um... So I've been working at the Halloween shop and I burnt myself out doing that, working too much. Well, not working too much, working normal amounts, but somewhat. <laughs> but doing that, I, didn't, I did not prepare myself to be able to do so many things. I should have prepared earlier with social media and things that I wanted to do. I should have prepared. Um, I tried to do eight hour shifts and then come home and film for eight to ten hours and edit and it was just a lot and I ended up burning myself out from it. So I ended up having to quit one and I kind of need money so I had to take a step back from YouTube for a while. Which is unfortunate because, you know, YouTube is my dream career and taking a step back means I'm taking a step back from my dream career and any moment you are not working towards it on YouTube is a moment lost that is lost on the algorithm that sets you back that somebody that would have seen you that day doesn't get to see you now and that's the scary thing about YouTube and that's what's really been affecting me with this is that you know with me taking so, so long of a break and not you know, posting consistently and posting amazing content, maybe this isn't gonna work. And I really need to get out of that mindset and start thinking, hey, you know, post what you love and the people that love the same things will follow. You don't need to cater to everybody. So now that I'm not working at the Halloween store, I'm currently transitioning into finding another job. Um, I'm taking more time for YouTube and stuff, so that's why I'm posting more, somewhat. Um, I'm getting caught up with Halloween. I still wanted to post all my Halloween videos, even though Halloween has been passed. I still want to post them because I did work hard on them, and I did work, you know, I worked on them. I would like to show them, and just because it's not the day I wanted to show it doesn't mean I should scrap the video. So I'll still be posting those. Um, I'm getting ahead for Christmas, so hopefully that's going to help with some stress levels. But my stress level went from, I got this, everything's fine, to holy crap, I do not have this. And it resulted in me not really wanting to do anything and not getting out of bed, not filming, not editing. I would stare at my computer and go on my phone. Like, I would not even work. Um, it also got to the point that 
I just kept pushing it to the side and saying, hey, I don't really feel like doing this today, I'm going to do something else when I knew that, you know, I got to work for this because YouTube doesn't really, <laughs> you know, pay like a job does and I stopped treating it like a job. But the thing that I remember somebody said is if you treat it like a job, it will treat you like a job. If you treat it like a hobby, it will treat you like a hobby. And I've been treating it like a hobby and not like a job and I gotta switch that because, you know, it's just like everything else. You don't get handed your career. Whether you walk into a job interview or you do content, you don't get handed the job. You work for it and you start off small and you work to get bigger and I just haven't been doing that and I don't really have anybody else to blame but myself for that. Um, I gave up and I don't want to because giving up stressed me out even more. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm hopefully getting more content out and I want to get back on a schedule. I used to post every single day when I first started but then I stopped and I got out of that rhythm and I really want to get back into a proper schedule. Um, so hopefully that will be coming soon. Um, another thing that's been really stressing me out, like extremely stressing me out to the point that I've just been avoiding social media the whole time. Like, I have not really been on my Instagram. I haven't caught up with my group chats or anything, which I really need to start doing because I feel bad that, you know they're watching my channel for supporting me and I'm not doing anything so I, I'm really sorry guys and I am getting caught up as we speak um, once I finish filming this I'm gonna sit down on my laptop not on my laptop but with my laptop and get caught up on some stuff um, you know as much as I love Halloween it really took like a toll on me um, with the amount of stress that I've been through and it really did not help with all the dark decorations around me. Um, I don't know if you guys are like that but like if you are around a lot of darkness um, you start to feel a little bit darker and unhappy and stuff but if you're surrounded by a lot of light you feel happier and as much as I love Halloween, and I love Halloween, it's like the best time of the year, you know? Uh, with all the stress that was happening, I started to take a toll with all the decorations around. Um, but now that I've decorated for Christmas, and it's a little bit brighter, and the lights are up, and I have a really nice fireplace, and, you know... All the, all the stores have Christmas decorations and it just seems a little bit brighter um, when you go out and when I'm in my room it's a little bit brighter. I just feel a little bit better and I really didn't like that I felt that way during Halloween because like I've said many many times I love Halloween and I, I felt really sad that I didn't enjoy it this year as much as I wanted to but you know there's always next year. So I'm hopefully going to have a better Christmas. Um, but yeah, I started feeling pretty dark with this Halloween. Um, but uh, something that's also been weighing down on me is I'm moving. Um, I'm not going to get into too much of the reason why. But I am moving in with one of my friends. Um, her name's Ella. You'll see a lot of moving vlogs and stuff coming up. Uh, like packing and seeing the apartment and stuff. Empty apartment tours and all that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you'll see all that pretty soon. Um, so I am moving with her and her dog Coca and her cat Riddle. I am leaving my pets with my parents because it is not fair for my dog and cat to be home all the time with somebody that stays home all the time. My mom stays home all the time. She's a stay-at-home mom. 
Um, it wouldn't be fair for them to go from always having somebody around to having no one around in an apartment. So they are staying. Um, but I'm only moving like a couple blocks away, so it's not terrible. I can see them whenever I want. Um, but I am moving to an apartment complex. Uh, December 15th is move-in day, and I will be packing in the next couple weeks. Uh, like I said, I'll do a lot of videos on that. Um, I will make sure that I have content ready so that I can continue to post during those moving times, but... Even though I'm moving, I don't have a job. I'm currently in the looks for a job. Um, you know, my only job right now is my business and my sponsorships that I've gotten. Um, but my business, Caitlin Cosmetics, that is my only job right now. And again, I am taking a break of that. Um... I don't really have a job because um, Halloween is over and it was just seasonal so I am really looking for a job and it's stressing me out a little bit to the the fact that I might not have one in time and that affects my rent and everything so hopefully I'm getting a job soon I have been applying everywhere um, I will keep you guys up to date with that but um, change isn't really easy with me. It affects me when things change, even, like, slight things. Um, you know, like, slight things don't affect me badly, but they still, you know, affect me a little bit. And this move, this change, has been affecting me a lot. And it's really scary. <laughs> and I'm excited for it, but it's also really, really scary really scary. Um, but I know that, like, I have my friend with me, and she's great. She'll help me through it. And I have my boyfriend. He's not moving in with us, but he'll be around a lot, and that's nice. I don't know what I would do without him. Um, we've been doing pretty good, you know, like him and I, uh, we've been doing really good. <laughs> He's everything um you know I honestly don't know what I would do if I didn't start dating him uh he's helped a lot in the past three years so I'm very grateful for him um I feel like his mother is probably watching this video <laughs> um if you are hey <laughs> um anyways yeah, so we are moving, and it's scary, especially since I'm looking for a job. So hopefully I find one. Um, bills are scary. You know, like, when you're young, you don't really think about that until you need to, and it gets, it's scary when you need to, and you guys probably know that, but it's scary. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, don't really know what else to talk about. Um, you'll be getting lots of moving vlogs, lots of stuff to do with that, and then when we're in the apartment, I'll be filming lots, um, hopefully, <laughs> like, decorating and baking and cooking, doing lots of stuff, hopefully. <laughs> um, I really want to get into skincare more, so... That should be fun. I probably should have written down what I wanted to talk about. But I just wanted to do a real talk. A, you know, open talk. Um. Yeah. But yeah, that's why I've been gone for so long. I've just been struggling and... It hasn't been easy, so I took time, and, you know, like, it just, it just kept getting worse, and days just kept going by faster and faster, and, 
yeah. And then the worst thing is I would upload a video and then leave it there. I wouldn't put a thumbnail, I wouldn't put it pri or public, I'd just leave it private. Um, and the biggest thing with that is that YouTube takes a long time before you make good money. Uh, or any money, it takes a long time. And some people don't even get there. And I guess that was my fear, is that... You know, I put all this effort into it, and it might not pay out the way I want it. It might never, you know, um, I put all this effort in, and it might never pay off. And that was taking a lot. But, <laughs> like, the thing that I keep having to tell myself over and over is that no one starts off being able to run the marathon. They... You know, they they exercise, they practice running, they eat right, they do all these things so that eventually they can run that marathon. So with me, I need to, you know, post videos, go through being a small content creator, edit, and think of this content and put money into this channel. You don't, I don't have to put hundreds of dollars, I can put little things in, but like, you know, it put some money in and take my time and get there one day, you know, slow and steady wins the race, not stressed and unsteady, <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I just, I've been having to turn my mental thinking around and it's been pretty hard, uh, yeah, <laughs> Uh, I don't really want to get too much into, like, personal stuff more than this. Just because, like I said, it's kind of personal, so I don't really want to get too much into it right now. I might do another one one day when I feel a little more comfortable with it, but... Probably not. But I do have a lot of Christmas content that I'm really excited for that I'm doing. And other content that I'm excited for. And I hope you've been enjoying the videos that I have been posting. Um... But yeah, YouTube is my dream, and the fact that it might not happen is scary, and I can't let that fear of it not happening ruin my chance of it happening. So that's why I am filming. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so I thought that you guys get, I thought I owed you guys a little bit of an update, um, like mainly because I've been saying I would give you an update for a while, but I just up and left and, you know, it, it was nice that you guys still supported me, so I really appreciate that, so thank you, and I really hope that um, I can get caught up and repay you guys for all the support. Um, oh, right. A lot of you have been asking about Caitlyn Cosmetics. Um, I have taken a break from Caitlyn Cosmetics right now due to expenses because of the moving. Um, I don't have quite enough in the bank to continue running a small business as well as rent and grocery and just all those bills that I have um and keep it the way that I want the standards that I have for my business and I don't want to put out products I don't want to put out things that aren't up to my standard and that happened with the brushes and I don't want to ever that ever to happen again I don't want to put stuff that is not to my standard not to you know not something that I would proudly recommend to people um so I don't want to get cheap products based on my income um I would like to save and then one day really work on Caitlyn Cosmetics and have it to be a really great brand um so right now the website is down, um, you can 
see it, but you can't order off of it. So, um, don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so right now the website is down. The Instagram site is down. Um, but hopefully I will be getting both those back up. Um, I've seen that you guys have used my products every once in a while, the aqua liners and the lashes, and I love seeing you guys use my products. It's amazing. Um, and I have lots of stuff in the works of stuff I want to come out with eventually. So, you know, I'm really excited to one day have the brand come back, but I need to figure out life first and make sure I'm in a good financial place that I can put effort and time and everything into this brand that I have so that it's the best that it can be. Um, I don't want to put anything out that is not the best it can be. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. And when the brand does come back it will be better than ever and I am so excited um to launch the products I will be launching when it comes back and to see you guys use them um yeah <laughs> I'll be having lots of sales on it and everything um when I open up I have lots of plans for it so I'm really excited for that but for now it is closed <laughs> I feel like Tati. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much all I'm going to say in this video. Just a little update. Um, I will try to not disappear again, but if I do, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not trying, <laughs> just happens. Um, I am learning about brains with ADHD and it's a lot more than I always thought it was. I always thought ADHD brains were just bouncing off the walls like squirrels, you know, like, like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Um, it's not, it's a whole world of different things and it's not as easy as I thought it would be. I thought, you know, like you just, your dopamine's low so you take a supplement, you fix it and you're good, but not as easy as I thought it was. Um, so I'm, I am getting used to it. Uh, so yeah, um, and I'm, I'm trying to save. I, you know, I'm not really doing great with that, but I'm trying. So I probably won't be spending a lot of money for videos right now. Um, videos will just be with stuff that I have and with, you know, just, just things, <laughs> you know, I, I, I probably won't be keeping up to date with launches for a while, um, and I won't be, you know, reviewing new stuff unless it's sent to me or it's bought prior to this video today, um, except for coffee. I can never stop buying coffee. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... I really want to work on social media more and be more active on it and put more time into it and really show you guys what I can do and show myself what I can do and get my dream career because <laughs> the only one that is stopping me from having my dream career is me. I used to think it was YouTube. I used to think the only people that are stopping me are the people that aren't watching. They're not watching because I don't post content. <laughs> so the only person that is stopping me from my dream is me. And I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm not. <laughs> so I am going to go and edit and post 
it won't be this video, but it will be a video. I don't know when this will be coming out, but it will be coming out shortly. So, yeah. I hope this cleared the air for some things, and... Yeah, um, if you want to stay up to date with stuff, I will be posting on Insta Stories, um, both on Caitlyn Cosmetics and my other account, nbk underscore beauty underscore, which is my makeup account. Um, I will be posting regular updates and stuff and, you know, keeping you guys up to date, so definitely go follow those, um... As well as I'm doing giveaways, I will be doing the 12 days of Give Us Lays because even though um, life kicked me in the... Um, I still want to give back to everybody and do what I can. So I'm doing the 12 days of Give Us Lays. They are small giveaways, but, you know, it doesn't really matter the size of it. So definitely stay tuned for those if I have not already announced it. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.